So I'd like to look at this problem here where I have a um, 25 centimeter uniformly dense solid disc. Um, it weighs 10 kilograms. It's going to roll down this 30 de degree incline um, starting at rest and at a height of one meter. And then when it gets down to the bottom of the ramp, I want to know its speed. You've already looked at problems like this, very similar to this in um, the previous class, where you had a box sliding down a frictionless incline. Um, in this case, the fr we do have friction and it's causing this um, disc to roll. Okay, so we've got this rolling motion that is the last part of um, chapter 10. And, and now we just want to find um, the speed this way. Um, so I, th I think one of the homework problems, you'll compare what happens between, um, between a rolling motion and a, um, and a sliding motion. Here I'm just going to look at what's going on with the rolling motion itself. Um, and I'll, I'll do it with numbers rather than um, symbolically like you'll look at in the, uh, in the problem. So here we want to see what we have. We've got a couple of things that we're, we have um, to worry about. One, we have a, our given, we're given a um, disc. So that rolls, right? We're not, but all we, we care about is that it's a disc, right? And it has a mass and it has a radius and it has an initial speed. And it has an initial height. Right. And that mass is um, M equals 10 kilograms. That radius is R equals um, 0 0.25 meters. Um, uh, that initial speed is um, V0 equals 0 meters per second. It's not moving initially. And the initial height is H equals 1 meter. All right. Um, on top of that, we have the ramp. And all we know about the ramp really is um, the inclined angle. And that angle is theta is equal to, to 30 degrees. So uh, fairly simple and straightforward it looks like. Um, here let's go ahead and find the final speed. And we can call that whatever we want. VF sounds good to me. Okay. Um, remember when you're doing this, you need to name everything, um, both symbolically and in English, and as well, well, give me these, um, numbers that tell me what, what you've assigned to these, um, values, what you've assigned to these symbols. Okay, represent, the representation, uh, we can do it all sorts of ways. Um, I really just, for this one, would like to draw, uh, a, you know, this cartoon, right, where we're starting with this guy up at a height h, with no velocity, and we've got this angle theta. So we just want to see this, it's the before is up here, and then the after is when it gets down here. Right, and it has some velocity v final, and that's the after. All right, so how are we going to analyze this? Um, so the concept I'd use, uh, probably I can call it um, conservation of energy, or I'll, I'll go with conservation of energy. Um, I probably would also take something like rotational kinetic energy, because that's the new thing that you're supposed to be learning here. Um, and our equation is K initial plus U initial, the initial kinetic energy plus the initial um, potential energy is equal to the sum of the energies at the end, the final kinetic energy and the final potential energy. Okay, So remember these two have to match. 
and then I have to use this in the problem. Um, so now we're ready for our answer, right? Uh, so, well, here we've got this, right? And that's like EI is equal to EF. So we're going to have to find these two energies, this guy and that guy. So the first thing I want to do is find the initial energy. And that initial energy is going to be um, EI equals KI plus UI. But of course, it's not moving initially, so it's just equal to UI. And the potential energy here is all gravitational, right? So that's just MGH, right? Um, next, I'll find the final energy. EF, which is equal to, I just said, KF plus UF, right? But now at the bottom here, there's no potential energy. So we'll call that um, 1 half MV final squared. Plus 1 half I omega final squared. So this is the translational and this is the rotational part. So we've got two parts here that we have to worry about. Um, so we probably want to go ahead and um, simplify this somewhat. Uh, one way to do that is to say, okay, if I have a solid disk, what is my um, moment of inertia, I? Well, I is something, in this case, we can just look it up, right? And in, that case, in this case, it's 1 half mr squared, right? And then we also know that um, omega f is vf over r. So if we take those two together, we have 1 half m vf squared plus 1 half times 1 half mr squared, right, times this squared, so vf squared over r squared, that guy cancels that guy, and then the 1 half and the m and the vf squared um, factor out. How close am I? Probably good enough. Um, so we have 1 half uh, m uh, 1 plus 1 half no that doesn't doesn't make it all have to rewrite it over here okay so equals 1 half um, m 1 plus 1 half over here which is 3 halves vf squared so 3 halves times 1 half is 3 quarters m times the final square, final velocity squared. So that's how we start that off. Um, so I've got these together. Next thing I do is I'm going to use conservation of energy. So if I conserve the energy, right, um, EI is equal to EF which means that um, 3 quarters mvf squared is going to equal mgh, right? And I can go ahead and um, solve for that. Uh, solve for vf now. And if I solve for VF, first I isolate VF squared, right? Um, and I divide through by M, that those two cancel. So I have 4 thirds GH. And, uh, this is a big H. All right. And so that means that VF 
itself is equal to the square root of um, this thing, 4 thirds gh. And now it's time for numbers. I know you hate numbers, but numbers we got. So, um, you know, we have uh, this 4 divided by 3 times um, 9.8 meters per second squared times 1 meter is equal or to the 1 half, right? And that's going to be equal to, um, let's see, 3.61 meters per second, okay? Uh, so that's the final answer. That's what we're looking for. Um, so the question is, is how, how far along have we gotten? Uh, is this a good answer or not, right? And so that's why we do the checks. So the first check, you know, the easiest check usually is um, to check the units. So the velocity uh, is in uh, units of meters per second, which is correct. All right? Pretty good. Check. And two, um, 3.61 meters per second is approximately uh, 7.2 miles per hour, which is um, a reasonable speed, not too fast, not too slow. Um, so it's something that we could envision um, something that rolls down a, a small incline to actually have. Uh, seven meters per second, it would be hard to chase, or no, seven miles per hour, hard to chase, but um, not so fast that it's, you know, breaking the sound barrier or anything. So, all together, those two things make it a pretty good looking problem. Um, a pretty good looking solution, pretty good looking answer. So, I'll see you in class. And, um, you know, make sure that you do get all three of these first ones done uh, by Friday. Okay, bye now.